You have probably heard a lot about AI and machine learning and how artificial intelligence is poised to have an impact on every part of every business. But how can you and your business take advantage? Cortical say that their platform can step in and fill the gap between business hungry for new technology and the shortage of data scientists who can't keep up with the demand. They want to make AI as commonplace as using an Excel spreadsheet. Well, we wanted to find out if it really was that simple to stay ahead in this new era. We saw the power of AI a few years ago and we understand that how great AI can be when it's used in the right areas. And so we thought we'd actually try and build a platform that allowed lots more people to get access to the power of AI. And for example, half of the world's population doesn't have access to great medical care. So actually through AI you can make very skilled doctors be a lot more efficient and go and reach a lot more people. For example, in rural Pakistan, you can have the more routine diagnosis done by artificial intelligence so they can spend more time on the really complex diagnosis. And that's a really exciting space to be in. AI is effectively software that makes decisions on its own. So these decisions could be anything from reading an email, understanding where that email should get sent to in a business, or looking at someone's uh, bank balance and understanding how likely they are to go into financial distress. Effectively, it's a kind of narrow part of what we do as humans. If you're looking at data points, right, and you kind of imagine that as a big jigsaw puzzle, as long as you've got like enough pieces where humans already filled in the blanks, then you basically sort of say, get an AI to predict what might be the pieces that are missing, and it'll do a really good job. And actually, if you've got the collective expertise of a lot of people, the AI is probably going to do a better job than, than humans for that level of prediction. In some cases, and in some fields, actually better than humans. So. Things like text and images, we're now at the point where AI actually does slightly better than a person would do on average. So effectively, we're a platform company. We've got a platform that automates AI, but we understand that a lot of businesses are just getting to grips with AI, and we're there to help uh, enterprise clients start thinking about the strategy and the people, all the way through to just letting them, giving them the platform and letting them start to automate their own data science. So the platform basically uses AI to build AI. So a lot of the process of creating AI models is a kind of trial and error, like we try this model with this kind of data type and connect it together this way and this is the result it got. What we do is use AI and cloud scale to basically solve that for you. So you just need to upload your data, say given this I want to predict that and it will go off and try a whole load of models in a really smart way and kind of build that whole pipeline for you. And we find we get results on average better than the average data scientist produces by quite a margin. Learning is a double-edged thing, right? So because in enterprise, you generally, you want to be, have everything rigorously tested. If you're going to give someone out, you know, if you're going to make a lending decision or something like this, this can have big implications. And also, as soon as people know that your system is learning, then they can try to game the system. And it's very hard to have a system that's, you know, learning and control. So what we tend to do is actually, with, with the platform, build a model, but then actually, you know, as new data comes in, build new models, entirely new models, and but do the full validation and testing before putting them live. So you can have confidence that that sort of learning is actually uh, going to produce value and, and not be sort of gamed and, and sort of like make bad business decisions. Currently, if you want to build an AI model, it's very difficult because you actually need to build a complicated model to stay ahead of your competitors that are also building AI models you need an expensive data scientist to build you that model. They'll take ages to do it. When they've built it, it probably won't be able to be used in production because their data scientists are not actual developers, so the thing won't stand up to 20 million real-time users. And then once you've got that model, you might not be able to explain why it's making decisions, which is a requirement of GDPR. And then once you've built it, you might need to update that model as new data comes in and potentially throw the whole thing away and repeat that process. Now that's a six month process at the moment and we take it down to less than a month. So our successful business model comes from the fact that we are better, faster and cheaper than the traditional way of doing it. Take a model for credit score, now that can be a simple linear model that says uh, if you take their age and times it by that and the number of times they used their unauthorised overdraft in the last month, times it by that and then their income and times it by that and then you get a figure coming out. What we've actually found is that a lot of these factors don't apply to everyone so when we've actually done this with a bank we found that use of the unauthorised overdraft 
Yeah, that tells you a lot for younger people who have uh, less of an income. But for older people, the number one driver was actually how much money they spent between uh, midnight and six in the morning. And that uh, use of the unauthorized overdraft didn't matter at all. So if you just have a simple model that is A plus B plus C, you can't, it, it has to be the same for everyone. Whereas a machine learning model can be very tailored to an individual kind of types of person. AI has got so much reach across business. It can be everything from the mum and pop shop that will want to do stock predictions, what it should put on its shelf, how much profit it's going to predict for the year, cash flow, etc. All the way through to the NHS, for example, planning blood and demand and supply logistics. So that's everything from the donor, what donors you need, what blood types you need, all the way through to where it should be collected, all the way through to the operation that it's required for. So it's really exciting to join up the dots using AI through the process. So I think there's two parts to that really. One, we're not anywhere near that part where it would be a problem at the moment. It's um, the AI we have is very narrow. It's not general. It's not going to go off and start doing its own things. I think we're already kind of seeing legislation to start to uh, tackle what are the problems, which is uh, kind of the bias can be created in the data that we humans create and the AI is only going to be as good as the data we give it. So it tends to inherit our human biases. Things like GDPR are a good legislation to try and actually solve some of these problems and actually our contribution is the ability to explain why an AI makes a decision. So even if you've got something that's typically a black box like a neural network, using our platform you can see inside it and understand exactly why it's made a decision. And that's uh, really important for reducing bias and, and getting rid of these kind of prejudices that, are, that tend to be in our human created training data. And I think the second part is really that as we kind of get towards a smarter and smarter AI, I think there's no shortage of questions to us about, you know, is it going to destroy the world and that sort of thing. And Hopefully that kind of makes its way into legislation and we are going to start to see a highly regulated industry and I think that's, that is the way it needs to go really. It's funny, like, we already have the technology to automate so much. I mean, the McKinsey report says that current technology could automate 50% of all human work at the moment that we do. So we're not even close to touching what can actually already be done. So AI is going to change the world and it's going to impact every job we see today. But it's nothing to be scared of. In fact, we should take advantage of it because it's going to help us do our job better.